Hello, welcome to Isaac. Let's see who we win and let's see whether we can actually get an angel run. It's going to be oh, for five minutes. <laughs> okay, probably a short run, but hopefully we basically have to get an angel run, so there is that. Um, or we just get nothing, which is also an opportunity, uh, an option, because a uh, small rock would be great, but I don't know if it's a good use of a bomb. It's not. But you only know that after you've done it. Um, if it's not an angel run, it's a no extra items at all run. Slightly worse, I think. What is in this room? Oh, hello. Not a fan of this. Are we on hard mode? We are. I think it remembers. But, oh, you dick. Get free shots, because the blind means we could pick up something that's terrible for us. But I'm fairly sure that we end up with stuff that's terrible for us anyway, because, you know, keeper runs very unlikely to go well without some good luck. So most items are going to be bad or worse. Oh shit, did you even see this guy? I didn't see this one. Did you see this one? I didn't see this one. I don't think anything can do more... Turn this to another half of you. More than like one... Uh, I didn't mean to do that. One coin of damage. There was nothing in this whole room which I just haggalized the shit out of you, fucking dick. Uh, like, I don't think champions are worse for us, but at the same time, we can't really contain any oh shit, spirit hearts or anything, so help. We're safe. <laughs> this could be good. Uh, I don't feel like shops are necessarily that important for us. Because we're never really going to have enough money anyway. We're not going to be able to buy spirit hearts, which means the only things we're going to be able to buy are the sorts of things that... There's not that many things that are a great benefit to us at all from the shops. I mean, you could say things like the map are, are great for us. And I suppose being able to explode the donation machine for a free amount of uh, HP on this floor is kind of nice. But that's very min-maxy. That being said, I'm now going to min-max by taking the store key and opening the shop to see if there's anything in there that we want. There is a key. But we only have three cents. But the shop's now open, so there is that. Uh, obviously, we could bloat the donation machine had we had a bomb, which we could yet get. But I don't know if it's a good idea to bloat the donation machine to then sort of finance a key for the next floor when we could just get a key or you know anything could really happen. Like I could just die right here and not get anything because the penny didn't pay out. For example, ah, uh, okay. It has a thingy. It's a D D10. We, we do not want. Hopefully we can re-roll it. Hopefully we can re-roll it. Hopefully we can re-roll it. <laughs> I hate you. Well, we came all this way. Can't even get the battery charge. We have no coin. <laughs> oh, if we got a coin, it would have been HP anyway. So I guess I feel okay that we didn't get a coin to re-roll the thing. There's HP now. We just have to not die against the boss and see what the next floor brings us. Hopefully, a slightly nicer item in our item room. I'm looking for more coins, by the way, if you're wondering. Hopefully, one more coin would be just enough. Oh, I hate a Steven fire in this situation because our shot speed is so low. No, our rate of fire is so low. Of course, this... Oh, you motherfucker. This, uh, this little bass is going to break away at some point, just so. So now maybe we kill this thing first and hope for the best. Hit me. I'm really slow. The Keeper is a very slow character, apparently. Oh, God. Nothing here. Our 50% chance of getting cool stuff from the coin here is not paying out quite as often as I'd like. You know, with a 50% chance, you'd think you get it 50% of the time. It's not seem to be working out this way. I'm going to pick up all the coins anyway. We have found our boss. Maybe we should just try and beat the boss early. We'll leave that coin, because if we get hit against this boss, it would be slightly embarrassing, because it is the Duke of Flies. But honestly, Duke of Flies, I found extremely difficult when I first started playing Isaac. Um, when I thought that two hits for each of these flies was outrageous. I mean, it is. 
but you can fire a lot more than that. Don't really want Isaac's head. So we didn't get hit, so I picked up the coin and the coin had uh, some luck associated with it, so that's nice. I didn't see that rock, but luckily it didn't <laughs> become a problem because it very much could have. I'm assuming this is the blue type that makes yeah, that sort of splash of shots. Ooh, I really would like either of these and it's not to be because they're spacebar items and we are very much reliant on the coin to not die, which went so well on the previous attempt, but you know how it is as the keeper. It resets your streak, but we're not here for streaks, we're here for angel runs to get the angel items, which could A, get us a win as the keeper. I should, I should probably use the coin that I just spake so vividly about. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? Game, you know what this is, don't you? Uh, no, I don't. I don't know. I don't. Understand. That's the fucking Dio, mate. That's the D goddamn ten. We've had that. Remember when you gave me that on the previous run, and I said, "What the fuck is this shit? How dare you? Don't you know who I am?" Oh shh. <laughs> I, I don't really want this that much. I was kind of hoping that would be a secret room, but it was a bit of a long shot, I guess. Let's go. Probably not going to even try and get to boss rush on a run like this, even if we can consider that from this early stage of the game. Please no. But we at least got past the first floor, so <laughs> there is that. We'll keep going. We'll see if we get uh, an angel run. Oh, it's nice to be able to fucking see. Uh, if we do, we'll see if we get any of the items that we want. And if we do, we will celebrate and consider it a win, even if we don't actually succeed at the... The run, as in, even if we don't succeed at beating Isaac. It's a shame that the Azazel run, there was no real opportunity to finish off the uh, key piece, because it would have been good to have beaten Mega Satan as Azazel. We don't do Mega Satan very often, and we're certainly not doing it as the keeper unless something very right happens. Should probably use that. Yeah, there we go. Do you reckon that could be a secret room? I mean, there's no way we were getting any of these troll bombs to find it for us, but still. I hate that. <laughs> it's so scary. Can't get in there. Very well. Oh, shit. We're fine. Don't really know where to stand on half of these rooms. I just hope for the best. Oh, you miss. You son of a bitch. Nope. No being hit on this room. Honestly, not being hit on this whole floor would be great, because I'd like to be able to get a deal with the devil and then deny it. Which is another reason you don't tend to get angel rooms as the keeper, is that if you take any form of damage, you scuff your chances of getting the door. And then, of course, you have to use that door correctly. Basically, you have to get a devil room, ignore it, which you do, because you usually have to, because it's, you know, uh, it costs red hearts, which costs coins, and then you then don't have those HP coins because you can't get them back. Uh, a bomb. Interesting. Golden bomb, no less. It means we could possibly get into our curse room, so let's go back and see. Let's go back and see. Or our mob trap. Boss trap room. It is our boss trap room, which means we're not getting into the curse room. Do I want cursed eye? Ah, uh, no. Do I want this? Well, no, but <laughs> it's open, so whatever. I'm doing that. Not without a. Uh, not without my anus. Not without a teleport card so that we can abandon it. Uh, hive mind would be great actually, because we're getting flies from any room that pays out with HP or any poop that pays out with spirit heart or anything, anything, anything. The flies are all over the place, so it's actually really good for us. Plus, we could just get a source of flies, and it's a fly item, I believe. So. It may count towards Beelzebub. Which would be great to get a transformation as a keeper, because it would just make us that a little bit stronger. More defensible, I suppose I should say, rather than offensive. Uh, keeper can be quite offensive, but in this case, not what I mean. Oh, watch it. Excellent. Uh, one more, well, two more fly items, and then the ability to fly. And not having to worry about flies ever again. Seems pretty sweet. Of course, 
what you want to do is become Guppy, which still remains one of the better transformations in the game, if not the best, simply because of the proclivity of flies that happen. Alright, no difficult. It's, it's easy enough. Should be easy enough. No coin on here, so we need to get not hit. We need to not get hit twice if we can possibly manage it. Shouldn't be too hard. Little Horn is a kind of annoying enemy because it keeps disappearing, but it's not that difficult to avoid being hit by, as long as you can get rid of that um, that shot that it fires at you. Which apparently is the only thing that it ever does. Use holes sometimes, but I prefer it when it just explodes itself. To be honest, so if we can just do that, no. Let's just do that, you know, the one that you like to do all the time, where you just explode yourself and I don't have to fight you in my... Yeah. When I only have one hit left against you. Caffeine pill is fine. What do we do here? We do nothing because... Uh, okay, that's fine. We do nothing because we want to get angel rooms. We managed to take no damage on that entire floor, so... Go me. <laughs> This is one of those situations where you have to have some good uh, good understanding of how the enemies work, because you want to... You notice I stopped moving even though under enemies were chasing me down. That's fine. Um, I wanted to make sure they were all on the same side of this divide. But knowing how fast they move is useful in that situation. Of course, I get that wrong often enough, so... I guess I sometimes should practice what I preach, but you know, it's, there's a big difference between theory and practice. And they're the same in theory, but different in practice, as the old saying goes, you fucking dick. You <laughs> see that shit? Take this then. I'm not quite sure how that one shot went in the direction it did go in. I, I was pretty sure that these were always supposed to fire orthogonally. Maybe it did, and my brain just got optically eluded by the... Uh, by what happened, but it seemed to me like that shot did not go in its prescribed trajectory at all. This is only one of those bastards as well. Kinda like this. Ooh, does this work at all? Find out. If it recharges whilst we're in a room, it would be brilliant. It is not doing that, so I will presume that it doesn't work the same way as the 9-volt, uh, which we know it doesn't, but it doesn't have that extra effect where if it's a one-room charge, it charges it slowly during the combat of the room. Which is a cool effect, and in fact I would quite like to get the 9 volt because it would be a lot of HP for us, in theory, and something like the Habit would also be a lot of HP for us, because every time we got hit, we would recharge our item and get 50% chance of getting our HP back. Now we have been hit on this floor, which is a shame. Because there goes our deal with the Angel Chance basically completely. It was already pretty low to begin with simply based on the fact we had one on the previous floor. So now it's basically gone. Uh, I would be very surprised to find we got one, but there is a small chance. I mean, it's not... Um, they don't call it a possibility or a probability if there wasn't at least some probability of it coming to pass anyway. And taking more red heart damage doesn't actually matter. So... I mean, it doesn't matter if we get hit particularly, apart from the fact that we could die, is what I'm trying to say. And there's about a 5% chance now, I think, that we get a deal. And it's probably a deal with the Angel, because I'm pretty sure it's always a deal with the Angel, the first one after you decline a deal with the Devil. Then after that, it could ah, still be a deal with the Devil. As we've seen recently, you can't even give yourself a good opportunity to get more Angel deals. There's no real way of doing it. <sighs> Alas. So, we just keep going and hope for the best, I suppose. If we get an angel room now, I will be astonished, but it will be great. Because we want to get as many as possible. We don't tend to get far as the keeper. Piggy bank, I think, is also great. Because if we get hit, <laughs> it could pay out with some money, which is exactly what we want. Very defensive run right now. I'm glad that thing decided to turn for no reason just before it got into a position where I had no choice but to aggro it towards me in the worst possible way. Uh, the husk has just damaged me, so I walked into one of the flies that started up in the room, which was very silly, but I guess... I mean, I didn't mean to. Ah. Uh, trapped myself. It's fine. 
we'll just keep playing this because we're playing this. Um, not too concerned about getting Angel Reminders. We have been trying. You know, it's not like I've been forgetting to deny the deals with the devil in recent episodes. Um, it's just... It's not been giving me angel rooms anyway, so uh, I guess it can go fudge itself in that respect. But we are trying, and as the keeper, you basically just don't even get the opportunity. It's kind of a shame that none of our opportunities to get more HP uh, when we got hit paid out against that husk fight, because that was a very difficult fight to deal with when you have... Oh, it's an XL fall, so we've already fucked up our deal with the devil, GG. Well, <laughs> what? Again, no idea how those things move compared to me. I know that my movement is related to their movement. Beyond that, couldn't tell you how that works. Fuck you. <laughs> That's how you do that. Uh, yes, I am reasonably happy with multi-damage, no baby. And we've got our bomb back, so I'm also happy with that. Thank you for being a item room with combat and then a payout. Appreciate it. Now, multi-dimensional baby is pretty good to begin uh, a room. Like the first shot you get will have at least two multi-dimensional buddy shots associated with it. But after that, it's more a it's a bit of a crapshoot as to whether you actually get anything through it. You can engineer it if you stay in the same place for long enough, or sort of walk backwards for long enough, but. I think it's just a damage bonus, and it was not like we paid for it. The, even the entry to the item room was free on this floor, so it's a free item. It's not a brilliant item, but it, it's there. Ooh, that's almost better. We can't really think about taking a spacebar item without something to basically guarantee us the win in another way. Could have been a secret room over there, actually, but kind of on, on the lookout for small rock. Wow. I don't know what hit me. <laughs> so I'm just going to roll with it, I guess. Take my time. Say what I say. Don't let anybody get in my way. Kind of a shame that room did not have any um, combat on it, because I would have liked to recharge my item against this boss. In case it hits me. Which is likely. Because there's so much on the screen. Fuck. Leave me alone. I actually braked in mid-walk to avoid the uh, many shots of that enemy. So, go me, I guess. Some uh, quick reactions at 20 past 20 to 2 in the morning. It's 20 to 2 in the morning because it's extremely hot, but I've had a nap, so... I can't sleep now, but I sort of don't need to. I feel like I, I had some of my sleep at you know, 6 o'clock, which was technically yesterday. Ah, oh, sweet. I do like this. And a bunch of flies is also well well received. I've been... It's so muggy hot. It's not... It's, it's, quite, it's quite dry in the UK at the moment. It's not like it's... Uh, it's not actually humid. But it feels humid. Like... Especially up here where the computer is. With the extra sort of... The extra terrible amount of heat caused by the computer and the screens. I'm not going this way. Why am I going this way? But, wait. Like, it's colder downstairs than it is upstairs, obviously. As heat rises. But it's also sort of a case that it's so hot upstairs that there's no point trying to sleep in a bed. But then, when you lie down on the sofa, for example, you sort of doze off because it's warm enough. So I've had a doze off and, and I'm not feeling particularly tired. I'm feeling like it's a normal part of the day right now, except... Ooh! Did you see that? The normal, normal part of the day, I feel like, crap, I'm really tired. So I guess it doesn't feel like a normal day. I actually feel okay. Not to, not to complain. Um, it's not like I'm starving or anything. It's just that normally I'm a lot more tired than you would probably consider healthy. Can we not? Please? Yeah, I thought we could get that. That was safe last time, so I'm doing it again. Key, yes. Do we go to the shop or the item? Oh, the shop's free. What are you talking about? 
this could actually do us quite well as well. The Pokeball. Game. Leave me alone. Stop telling me about Pokemon. Jeez. But I think I'm getting a little bit... Uh, I want to say crotched here. You know, you know when you're tired because you've been looking at the screen for a while and you've been concentrating on games and it's hot. And it sounds like I'm really complaining that you've been concentrating on games. What? Why is that a problem for you? But I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Look at that. <laughs> That's why we took that particular item. Let's get here. Good. I'm becoming weary again. So I think this will be the last episode I record for the I'm trying to make a backlog for when I disappear à la France for a week or so. <clears throat> but honestly, I'm sort of expecting not to really put up so many videos during that time. But hopefully there are enough videos for me to be able to do that uh, without too much of a problem. Man, this thing's charging me up a lot. I really enjoy it. I've not really got much to talk about. It's hot. I can't really think straight. There's probably a secret room here. There's a moon card which will get us out of something if we want to go into something. There is a... Oh, speed down pill is terrible. There you go. I'm starting to yawn, so... Getting ready for, um... Getting ready for Betty Bynes. Betty Bynes. Please let me shoot you with... Oh, let me see that at the front so that I don't split you into several pieces without uh, without controlling that this happens. Oh, help. This is actually a pretty difficult fight because our rate of fire is so slow and we're so slow. I mean, we've got Squeezy, which is a great tears upgrade, but it has not really had the usual effect at all. I'm trying to shoot through multi-dimensional baby just because I feel like the extra damage caused by that could really give us a massive benefit right now. But if you can continue to not hit me, that would be splendid. And then we can get deal with the devil and ignore it. Or take it and just call this a, a normal set of runs because we did get one. And a speed upgrade. Oh, you're doing what to me? Sorry. Like, we can't take the really good one. And the guppy item doesn't necessarily matter all that much. I mean, it takes one out of the rotation, so we can't get one from... Uh, some other chest, but uh, it's from a red chest. But Can we fight this room. I think we fight this room. I'd rather keep the moon card for something that I'm actually scared of. I'm not particularly threatened by uh, a mob trap room, at least not on the caves one. Although I hate these, so maybe I should be threatened because it is a threat. I mean, technically it's a threat, right? But we got through it, so I feel okay about that. Again, quite a low deal with the devil chance in the first place on this floor, but taking any damage would certainly ruin it. We did get a zap from Charge Baby, but I wasn't prepared for it. So. Oh, I got caught on sign. So there we go. <laughs> that went up already. There was a little uh, a hook sticking out of the side of the, uh, the side of the crevasse there, and I, I walked right into it. And I thought I was dodging around the enemy, and in fact I was just dodging into an obstacle. Please shoot through. Yes. Continue to do that. that is, it's much more powerful. Not only I think the shots are literally better, but also there's two of them when they come through multi-dimensional baby. Which is uh, more shots than I'm firing, so... Oh my god, please. <laughs> Have mercy. Good, that one's dead. Hooray! It's actually... It's, it's hard, okay. You also have to concentrate. Now, when these hit you, they... Ooh. That's nice. When these hit you, they cause money to drop. So, it's kind of difficult to die to them unless they're actually in the way of the money that you're then trying to pick up. Uh, Charge Baby occasionally freezes enemies, but it's a very short duration of freeze, so... Not that excited about it, unfortunately. It sounds like a, a great... A great tool for it to occasionally just stop everything on the screen, but you can't really react to it and use it before it's gone away again. Thank you for that. I'm pretty sure that just came out of Charge Baby. So Charge Baby A just recharges you. B uh, will 
drop battery charges, and C freezes enemies occasionally. That was a bit dangerous. Pennies, uh, that's probably pretty good for us, yeah, I have to, I have to say. <laughs> Seems like a good item. What have we got here? Two of diamonds. Versus the moon. Who just use it? Joker? Question mark. Ooh. Question mark. I used it. It leaves us a penny on the ground that we can pick up later if we start getting scared about our HP. Which is inevitable. At some point I'm going to flip this coin and fail to get what I want from it. And then take damage and then go, I wish there was a coin on the ground. So I feel like just using a question mark card for a free coin. Or I guess it could have been a free two coins. I'm not sure. It says double act two. I'm not sure if it just performs the active effect or literally performs it twice like it suggests it should. should. Uh, no thank you. That is bullshit and you know it. If it's bullshit and you know it, clap your hands. Thank you. Appreciate that. We'll go into the shop. There is Pandora's box. What's that going to give us on this floor? We might as well buy it and find out. I'm pretty sure it's spirit hearts on money. Oh, it's the magic mush. Okay. Uh, yeah, we might as well take it. We're not going to be doing any clever dicking around with deals with the devil. We're just going to take magic mush and go. We are now faster again, despite the fact that I took a speed downgrade. And I picked up the penny that I said was my emergency penny, but, you know, bite me, I guess. We feel a lot stronger now, which is natural. We did pick up magic mush. Let's try and get rid of these, because they will inevitably block a lot of my <laughs> retreat zone. Great. Great. Plenty of money out of this thing right now. And Sack of Pennies is giving us even more money, so... But the amount this uh, wooden nickel has paid out has astounded me, to some extent. Good, good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this floor has gone. Let's leave it. Oh, I don't know how to do it. Ah, oh, yes, fuck. That got me on the Azazel run as well. That tiny room, how the f... Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.